Okay, chest pain. Patient comes in with chest pain that looks cardiac from the history. What do you do? First, EKG is our first step. The EKG can be diagnostic. Okay, so you diagnose the ischemia or MI and then you go ahead and do the enzymes, draw blood, do CKMB and troponins. But in some cases, the EKG may not be diagnostic. Now, what should we do? So either the patient cannot exercise or can exercise. If the patient can exercise, we have two separate scenarios. First, you may be able to read the AKG in most patients, or you cannot read the AKG. Like what? If the patient has left bundle branch block, or left ventricular hypertrophy, or pacemaker, or taking digoxin, these are things that will cause AKG changes that mimic the actual ischemic event. So, if you can read the AKG, now you do the exercise tolerant test. Exercise tolerance test is you make the patient run on the treadmill and if you see ST depression in the AKG, that's ischemia. Alright, so what if the patient, I cannot read his EKG. Now you go ahead and do exercise thallium or exercise echo. Because I cannot read the AKG, I will use other things than the AKG like exercise thallium. The patient runs on the treadmill, but instead of using an EKG on him, we will use thallium, nuclear medicine, thallium or systemic nuclear isotope uptake. If there is decrease in thallium uptake, it may be ischemia or infarction. How to know which is which? Ischemia is reversible, infarction is fixed, so fixed decrease of thallium uptake is infarction while reversible decrease in thallium uptake will be ischemia. Or we can do the exercise echo. So the patient runs on the treadmill, but instead of an EKG, we do echo. Abnormal echo is decreased ball motion, maybe dyskinesis, akinesis, or hypokinesis. So again, if you cannot read the EKG, you do exercise thallium or exercise echo. Exercise thallium, you know from decreased thallium uptake, exercise echo, you know from the decreased wall motion. Then, last scenario, if the EKG is not diagnosed, diagnostic and the patient cannot exercise. So, you will use another thing to make the heart move faster and contract harder. What's that? Dipyridamol thallium or dupyridamine echo. So dipyridamol will increase the contraction and you use thallium as nuclear imaging method. So that's dipyridamol plus thallium. How do you know if there is a problem? You will see the same thing, decrease thallium uptake. Or you can do dupyridamine echo. How do you know if there is a problem? Abnormal in decrease wall motion scenario. So, chest pain, do an EKG. If it's diagnostic, I'm done. I'll just draw blood for enzymes. If the EKG is not diagnostic and the patient can exercise and I can read the EKG, I will do exercise tolerance test. If, he, if the EKG is not diagnostic, the patient can exercise, but I cannot read the EKG, I will use exercise thallium or exercise echo. If the EKG is not diagnostic, the patient cannot exercise, I will do dipyridamol thallium or dupyridamine echo.